Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Bird Box, starring Sandra Bullock, Trevante Rhodes, John Malkovich, Sarah Paulson, B.D. Wong, Jackie Weaver, Rosa Salazar, Danielle McDonald, Lil Ray Howery, and Tom Hollander, directed by Susan Bier. Now, before I get into this movie, I must say, I know this is a book, but, but I've never seen this movie before. So this will be my first two viewings of this, and I've been hearing a lot of comparisons of A Quiet Place. Uh, after watching it, I'm not seeing it. There's another movie that made me think of that's not A Quiet Place, and I will talk about it. Let's get into this movie. In a small town, Mallory, played by Sandra Bullock, talks to her kids about their trip, which will be dangerous while they go on it blindfolded and have to listen to sounds and can't talk whatsoever which is completely dangerous and why are they doing that well there's something out there when anybody looks at it they'll commit suicide while we flash back with mallory's sister jessica played by sarah polson well mallory paints and has an appointment with the doctor about her upcoming baby as she wants to put it up for adoption and that was bothering me from the get-go as she's pregnant and they and I don't think Sandra Bullock could get pregnant at her age right because she's around her 50s I think as they get out of the hospital a woman standing next to a mirror be bangs her head on the glass as it secures I mean it's not secure scares Mallory while Jessica gets the car ready and they drive away with something that people can't see and commit suicide and this is reminding me of all things of M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening are as people are seeing things that happens to be trees spoiler alert for the happening as i'm not too sure if that's what is happening in this movie as i only watched this movie once not usually a thing i usually not a thing i not usually a thing i usually do for if i review a movie for a show a woman comes to mallory and to put her inside because she's pregnant because it's safer as the house belongs to B.D. Wong's character, Greg. But there's also Douglas, played by John Malkovich, and a few others like Cheryl, played by Jackie Weaver, and Douglas, and of course, B.D. Wong as Greg. And I really don't get why the fuck is, what the fuck is going on in this movie, as this movie is reminding me of The Happening, which is not a good thing at all. We also meet Felix, who has who's also a pot smoker, Charlie, played by Lil Ray Howery, Tom, played by Trevante Rhodes, and a cop named Lucy, played by Rosa Salazar, who is well known f and I've s for things I've seen her in, like Alita Battle Angel, and I reviewed her as well in a couple of the Maze Runner films, and we move on to six months to the future, they lie on a boat to fall asleep, and Mallory tries to call for help, and I've been told this movie is like A Quiet Place, as that's a much better movie than this. And I wasn't getting that vibe at all, as I was reminded of the happening with some birds, as I heard them chirping, which is an interesting plot, but not as good as A Quiet Place. Another pregnant woman com named... Oh, I forgot her name. I'll tell it later. Comes to the house, which is a terrible idea, with while... Greg ties himself up and watches the cameras as this movie is full of bad ideas from the gecko, which is a real problem to begin with. Greg dies by looking in the monitor and Mallory breaks the monitor itself, which was a painful scene and painfully acted while Mallory is joined by the other pregnant woman whom I never got her name. Well, okay, yeah, I will tell it later, but I, but eventually I didn't get it until later in the film because I unfortunately don't care for these characters as they make questionable decisions. 14 hours into the river, Mallory hears a voice and points the gun at a redneck who tells her to take off the blindfold, which was reminding me of COVID days when some people refuse to wear masks and tells others to take off the mask, which is a bullshit choice, like the redneck telling Mallory to take off the blindfold. And we go back to the house where they get out the of the garage and blindfold the car and they drive outside and break people apart while the GPS is on some character and some characters drive and they encounter some kind of monster which I don't know what the hell it is 
and they arrive at their destination, which happens to be a grocery store, as I don't understand this plot, as it goes back and forth to the point it makes no sense. While at the store, we hear a caged parrot, and she takes them with her while, well, birds, I'll say, while Douglas makes a toast to being, to being assholes, which is arguably the worst idea the character John Malkovich plays has ever said in the movie, as there was a person Charlie worked with at the supermarket, and Charlie goes out there, he gets killed by this stranger, and Douglas acts like a fucking asshole about it. And these characters are absolutely flat, as the rewriting is a real mess. As the writing in the movie is a real mess. Lucy and Felix are stupid enough to take out the car out of the garage, as nobody has a way out, no thanks to those motherfuckers. As we go back to Mallory and the two kids, as they bump into a truck in the middle of the river, and the boy loses his jacket as well as food, and Mallory warms him up, and they feel land, and as Mallory gets to a place when, where I'm thinking is a camp house, and she collects food, and if I were a parent, don't abandon your kids for important reasons. In a situation like that, or else, they will get either abducted or killed, as that was another bad choice. Jesus. The girl gets off the boat, despite Mallory saying to not get off the boat, but she does anyways, and Mallory pulls her back and tells her if something happens to her, save yourself. But she almost gets killed, when, it, and I was thinking, what the fuck are you doing getting out of the boat in the first place? Mallory t talks with Tom about his life, and we move on once again to Mallory calling people on the walkie-talkie while the other pregnant woman, Olympia, that's her fucking name, Jesus, lets a stranger in the house as he was scared when they were pointing the gun at him and douglas takes the gun from mallory and take tells him to get the hell out of the house until cheryl knocks him out and mallory makes a promise to olympia to take care of her baby if something happens to her and we find out in a flashback it was a, the girl who was born from olympia and the boy is from mallory herself and she tells the kids something might happen, like it'll get loud and we go back to Olympia's water breaking. And believe it or not, so does Mallory's. And they lay together as they give birth to their babies. And the stranger, Gary, puts the birds in the freezer as he opens the windows. And this going back and forth pretty much frustrated me watching this movie. As it was very frustrating... Gary opens the garage door and goes up to kill, uh, what's his name, John Malkovich's character, and goes upstairs to see the babies opening the windows, and Olympia goes to the window and jumps out and dies, as he also shows Cheryl, and she commits suicide, and Douglas comes in and shoots Gary, and knocks him down and kills him, and... And Tom wakes up after the knockout by Gary earlier in that scene. And Tom comes to the rescue with the windows closed, which was kind of a scary scene. So I'll give the movie a few points for that. Five years later, the babies turn into five-year-olds that we started the movie with. And Mallory is the mother and Tom is the father. And does this, any of this matter? Not at all. Frustrating, to be frustratingly honest with you. We hear a call from the radio as it tells them to this compound tells them to go to this compound on the river and Mallory and Tom have an argument about if it's real or not as she doesn't believe it's real while he thinks it is and they prepare for a trip and they that could be very dangerous like Mallory brought to at the brought up at the start of the film Mallory and Tom introduce the kids to strawberry and some robbers are as they're inside a house and Mallory and the kids get away while Tom dies from wrestling with the robbers and runs out with a blunt without a blindfold and commits suicide and honestly i can't believe this is i can't believe people think of this as a quiet place when it should have been described as the happening as i'm getting that vibe again and again and we move on to 42 hours and on the river mallory decides to look for anything dangerous as they approach for some waterfalls and she loses her kids for a short amount of time but she finds the girl and eventually finds the boy by ringing his bells. 
as they're on land and walk towards some noises and they lose Mallory and walk away believing she's dead and but she gets up and finds the boy and the girl takes out the blind almost takes out the blindfold and closes her eyes but she eventually puts it back on and comes to Mallory and hears Tom's voice as it gets louder and louder and they go in a building where some people are at and meets a man named Rick as they're at a safe place in which I think is a school for the blind and they let their three parrots go as they meet the doctor from the beginning of the movie and Mallory named her son Tom and her daughter Olympia and can this climax get any more frustrating to death but I did like that she finally gave them names at the end of the movie now it's time for my rating I'll give this movie a 3.4 out of 10 the movie makes a bunch of bad ideas, which is a real problem to begin with, as I don't understand this plot. As I wasn't getting a Quiet Place vibe out of it, I was more getting vibes from M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening, and that's not a good thing. I don't really care for these characters, as they're absolutely flat, and it was telling some bullshit ways for people to tell others to take off the damn blindfold. And this writing is a real mess. The going back and forth thing was a terrible idea, and at the end of the day, this was a very, very frustrating movie, as this is a non-recommendation. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and next time we'll be back with Bird Box Barcelona. And until then, don't take off your blindfold.